Well, that was embarrassing. A good night's sleep last night after going to the Corvega assembly plant and taking care of the raiders for the settlers here at Ten Pines Bluff. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to Sanctuary and give Garvey the good news. A mongrel dog. Oh, there's another one. That's the alpha. Keep shooting it in the butt. <laughs> oh, hello. All right. Oh, there's another one. Whoops. Ow. I hurt a little. Wow. Okay, well, we survived that, barely. Oh, look at this. Those dogs would have killed these people. Hello. Hi. Hey there. Whoa. Nice dog. But he looks lonely. Don't you think he could use a playmate? Why are you selling? Why are you selling her? Oh, I don't want to. But I love dogs, and I gotta make a living somehow. So I raise them and sell them. I'm always blue for weeks after I sell one. But then I get myself a new puppy and start all over again. <laughs> um, okay, I guess I'll buy a dog. You've got a deal. Oh, yeah. You sure? I mean, she's a great dog. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to sell her to anyone who isn't going to take good care of her. All right, is she for sale or not? Is your dog for sale or not? Well, yes, but I just have trouble actually selling my dogs when it gets right down to it. I get kind of attached, you know? Well, it's up to you. Look, it's up to you. You were the one who offered to sell me the dog, remember? Yeah, I know. It just, when it comes down to it, I always have trouble actually selling them, you know? So I don't want to sell her to someone who won't take care of her. I'm sure you understand. Okay, yeah, you know, I'll take good care of her. I'll take good care of her. Don't worry. You know what? I changed my mind. I don't think I want to sell her just yet. <laughs> okay. That's fine with me, you strange person. I just saved 250 caps, so that's a good thing. So, what's the best way to get back without dying? <laughs> oh, more mongrel dogs. Got a couple shots. Maybe. Where is the other one? Oh, he's over there not even paying attention. Oh, it's coming closer. That worked out well. 
Ooh, I hear shooting. So that's the quarry down there, I guess. Bird. What are those things beside it? I don't know. that brown flight helmet Could probably sell that I see a pursuit of power armor there with a soldier against it don't need that so hit the road back here again those looked like deer with two heads and Two sets of front legs, I guess? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Alright. Let's see where we are here. Oh, okay. There's Sanctuary over there. So... I don't... I want to get in the water because I'm pretty sure that's full of rats. So I just guess I'll just follow through here. What is this? Are these... Uh-oh. World houses were? Oh yeah, there's a raider. Hello. Let's stim pack again. There he is. Hide behind that tree. Jeez. Oh, so this was their camp, huh? I was checking out those pillars here because it looks like I guess an old house used to be here. Attacked. They were living awful close to sanctuary over there. Had a nice view of it, actually. What is that? I guess someone decided to camp out here after the war, maybe? Hm. Alright, let's keep going. Oh no! Teamwork! <gasps> Whoa! It's too long. Oh gosh. All right, well. Let's take some meat. Yuck. 
I need to do some cooking when I get back here too, I think. Oh, there's another one of those weird looking deer things. I don't know if they're mean or friendly or what. Oh, there's another dog. Okay. Oh, is, is he chasing that, that, whatever that is? We're getting close to the bridge here, dog meat. We'll be back in sanctuary soon. What's that? Wild mute fruit. I see Preston. Why is he in the rad infested water? Oh goodness, who knows. Oh my. Okay. Here he is, out of the water. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. Yeah, um, I guess if you're ready. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? No. No. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups... They just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? Quincy Massacre? What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew oh. about that by you now. Tell me the same thing. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people. I was with Never Colonel mind. Hollis's group. A mercenary okay, group so called the Gunners was I attacking say? Quincy. Uh, don't give the up. People there. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up. But I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen. But I think you can. What about you? Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Why me? What makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Um, okay. Okay, I'll do it. Good, good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way. General. General? Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new General. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. <laughs> Awkward. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. General, huh? Okay, well, this general is going to go make some food 
and heal up some more. What are you building? Think that's it. Oh, noodle soup. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to take some rat away and take a nap. And then I think I'm going to head towards Diamond City. If he didn't help me take down, you know, bad guys, I'd probably leave him, but I guess I'll keep him. Okay, I was hoping I'd wake up and magically there would be someone here to trade with, but no. So, I'm going to Diamond City. Um, down here. Right, it's on my map. Wonder what kind of wonderful things we'll run into today that'll try to kill me. Fine. Oh, I see a stim pack. I was just going to ask you, dog meat, is there anything I missed? And I guess I missed that. Okay. Not sure if I should follow roads again. I guess I will. But what road, after I get out of here, should I follow? I guess I need to go around the southern direction somehow. I don't think I was ever down this street. Looks like there's nothing you can get in though. Are uh oh, yeah, boarded up. What's that? Oh, there's a minute man. Stim pack, use and sell. Sorry. Whoops, I didn't mean to take your clothes. I'm so sorry. Poor thing. Well, oh, yeah, I forgot I need to level up. I think I need to work on a little bit more charisma, so I'm just gonna put one there. this. Caravan. Huh? Hey there. 
So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Actually, yeah, I'm up going to Diamond City. Diamond City? Where's that? Directions. Hmm, figures. Just keep going until you see the skyline. Cross the river. You'll find the Great Green Jewel just inside the city limits. Hey, Carla. Back again? Time to do business? Yeah, let's barter. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I got. 308s, 38s, 45s, 10s. Alright, let's first see what we need. Thirty-eights. I have plenty of those. Cells I'm doing pretty good on. Three oh eights I have none. So maybe I'll buy some three oh eights from her. What else does she have? There's a hunting rifle. Oh no, I don't I don't like that one. What kind of aid? Uh right away. Oh look how expensive that is. 232. Woo! Stim packs are 139. I need to buy a couple, at least. So, what will she buy from me? A T-45 left arm. I didn't even know I was carrying that. Good grief. I guess... I don't know if I should keep my vault suit for now or not. I guess I'll keep it for now. Alright. Here's some of the foods I wanted to try to sell. But you can't really eat them. We get some rads. Well, I guess you could eat them. It's probably not a good idea. And let's see. Will she buy? She'll buy this too. Alright. Let's do these then. What's Medex do? I don't know if I should keep that. Hmm. I've got seven of them. We'll see. I might hang on to those for a little while. Look at that. Yeah. I don't know what you do with silk beans. Sugar bombs. Oh, look at that. Oh. That does a lot, but I'm selling them. All right, well, I guess that's pretty good. Okay. Thanks, Carla. And it's raining. I guess I just go this way. I know I just asked directions, but I'm already confused. We had a deal, Trudy. Huh? Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Oh, here they Do you are. know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Uh -oh. Don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Drumlin Diner. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Easy there, Scabber. This doesn't involve you. Well, um, lower your gun. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. That's it. You're dead. You crossed the wall. Well, <laughs> I tried. Didn't do it quick enough. 
No. Well, that was embarrassing. Jeez. Okay, well, it's not raining anymore. That's a plus. Minuses, I lost some dignity there. Okay. Here's Carla, so I guess I've got to do my trading all over again. And it's raining. Jeez, huh? do you bring the rain? Hey there. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Let's trade. Let's see what you've got. Oh, I have a little bit of everything. Good enough. So I'm thinking we should probably handle this conversation a little differently. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, scabber. This doesn't involve you. What's going on? What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her. But it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. Uh, I'll talk to Trudy. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Ahem. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Oh my. Um, let's offer help. I want to help you, Trudy. What can I do? Get rid of Wolfgang. I don't know what he offered you, but I'll pay you a hundred caps to kill that jet-selling scumbag. Yeah, he's he doesn't seem like a great guy. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. You crossed the wrong man. Let's pick a different weapon. Mom! My good karma's paying off. <clears throat> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. 100 bottle caps, awesome. Okay, let's barter. Sure, let's take a look. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. 308s? General Chow's Revenge. Whoa. Okay. Let's see. Do I have anything else I could possibly sell? I had dirty water, I think. I don't... Or did I use that in cooking? I used that in cooking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. These aren't worth. I could sell these. I guess I'll sell her that. <laughs> I guess I'll sell this. I really don't need to hang on to that. Okay. So he's strung out, huh? <clears throat> Never take a hit of Jet again, I swear. Yeah, you better not after that. Oh, there they are. Oh, 
Alright, well. That's done. Poor vi visibility and rain. Derailed right in the middle of the road, huh? Well, thank goodness we don't have to go too close to the Corvega assembly plant. What's that? There's a body there, too. bodies. Aww. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to walk all over you. Ugh. Okay. Keep going. Some kind of broken down building here. I heard something. I don't know what I heard. millimeter rounds. Clothing goggles. Hat. Okay. Oh, I see the city. Was so weird. That car just dropped out of the sky. Oh man. Wish the visibility would have been better. That would have been something. That was really strange. Anything else gonna fall on my head? car there, I think. Whoa. That was really, really cool. <laughs> well. That was close. Whoa! I don't think I want to get involved in that. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Don't mind me. Okay, come on, dog meat. Let's not go back that way, okay? Jeez. That's instant death. I can tell. Oh! More instant death.
Oh, I see the bridge I think Carla was talking about. Over there. Cambridge Polymer Labs. I guess that's that building. Veterinary. I don't think they're in business anymore, dog meat. Look at that. I wonder what this was. Is he gonna tell me? Am I going to get killed? CIT ruins. Oh, okay. Oh. Looks like a raider barge down there. I think that sneaking is probably a good idea. Wreck of the USS Riptide. Wow. Right here. Yeah. That's what they're on. Okay. I hear music. I don't want to find out who's listening though, so be quiet, dog meat. Okay, I think we made it. Now, I guess I just keep going straight? Uh oh. I don't like the sound of that. Well, there's a diamond and an arrow pointing straight, so we'll go straight. You coming, dog meat? Where'd you go? Okay, well, I'm not sticking around. I'm, I'm going. Some guards there, I guess. I think we made it, guys. Oh! What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here, for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I know you're listening, Danny. Open the gate. You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, who are you? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. All right, let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut! 
You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper? What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Uh... I support the news. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Uh, sounds great. I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Uh, I'm looking for a missing person. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Oh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Uh, who could help? Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big <laughs> Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Okay, is there anything out here? Is this a shop, maybe? You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> you're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm looking for a missing person. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My son. My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but... We're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? The institute? The institute? What's that? Ah, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. All right, never mind. I'll ask somewhere else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Okay, well. Head on inside. Yeah, I guess we will. Come on, dog meat. Let's go and see Diamond City.